Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Super Metroid Reverse. This is part 7 and we have mock toys and treadmills and worms and all kinds of weird stuff in this room. And they're coming out of ceilings and stuff. I will say, I do kind of like that. Surprising people with enemies popping out of the floors and ceilings. And here we just have a little bit of a bot wound. And I missed. Plasma makes this guy so much easier. When you hit him with it. And just like that, he's gone. So yeah, Batwoon. Really, really easy. He's actually... If you put him early and don't really change any of his settings at all, he actually is a really, really difficult boss fight early. But later on, when you have these beams and stuff, he is no match for you. There is really no contest. When he hasn't been changed, anyway. If you mess around with him a little, obviously things change then, but... You know, spikes. Spikes. Droids. Sand pits. Okay, so yes, we are headed toward... Dragon here. Maybe we can get over... I don't know, maybe we can finish up already on this video. There's some... stuff... coming up after Dragon, but there really isn't too much left here. Okay, I think all this up here is the same. And yeah. Might as well save it. No harm in that. Unless, of course, the safe stations aren't set up, in which case there's a big issue with that. That is something else to think about when... If and when... Ouch. You're making a hack. Ow. Is save stations. Having save stations in your hack is a huge plus. It just is. But... They do take a little bit of getting used to, I guess. But they really aren't that hard to figure out. And I highly recommend you mess around with them. And just find out what all you need to do to get them to work. Because having them is a really, really big thing for your hack. It's much better than requiring save states or something for it. And this room kind of interesting. I don't think I'll show it off here, but we saw the grapple lock. Now that was put in there so you could get out, because you don't actually get space jump from this guy. However, if you let him grab you, yeah, he's gone right anyway, and you grapple onto the grapple block, he will get fried from that. So it's not the turret or something that's frying him. It's just you grappling onto something. It's what his, he was programmed to be fried for. It was just it checked for Samus grapple beam latched onto something. And so you, if you have a regular block in there and you latch onto it he'll fry. It's that simple. Okay. And you can destroy those things afterward. It's interesting. So yeah, that's just an interesting little bit of information. Okay, now let's see what we've got going on here with those tiling errors. So yeah, screw attack. Um, hmm. Now we can actually go... At this point, you may as well just start heading out. 
a Meridia. There really isn't much else here. Spazer Beam will be on the way out. And keep in mind, we're wanting to go out the other way and not the way we came. So yeah, we want to head this way. And we have these things. Crumble blocks. Which don't crumble. That is interesting. All those crumble. And... Hmm. I am not exactly sure what was going through his mind when he... did all this. We... Give her that pumpkin too, just because they're annoying. Just for that one room, I'm gonna get rid of that guy. Okay, that's interesting. It damaged by your normal beam, but not by your charge beam. That seems to be a bit backwards. So anyway, get through that mess of treadmills. Okay, now... Oh, yes. We have the beginning of this guy's fascination with mazes in Meridia. We're leaving this area. You will find there's more than just this here. So, yeah, you just gotta... Hmm. There we go. I think. Maybe? No? Nothing? Okay... Is there... Hmm. Interesting. Oh. There we go. So yeah, this is all very much a huge train wreck. Take wave off so we can see where our boundaries are. You can get spring ball down this way too, which of course is another very, very good item. Spring ball I find is kind of hard to place in hacks. It's very much. It either seems, or at least when I'm making a hack, it either seems like I'm placing it too early or it's too late, where it's its usefulness becomes diminished because it's really only useful for going through morph tunnels and jumping up through them faster instead of waiting for the bomb, so the more of those that's not in, the less useful it becomes. But you don't want to get to somebody so early where it's just all easy. You actually want to make it seem worthwhile to collect. I don't know. It's... Get out of there. It's just something you kind of have to... Ouch think about and deal with as you go about putting your hack together. You s rotten little insect. Okay. Back here. So yeah, don't worry, you're not stuck. And that was 
nothing done with this room or with the shack tool here at all. And really, these, the shack tool is really a, underused a lot, I think. I mean, it's obviously its main usage for this. But I'm sure somebody out there could come up with something interesting to do with it. Besides just a slow wall breaking machine. And speaking of machine, I am still not quite sure if it is a machine. Because it seems awfully metallic. Or if it is a creature or a mixture of them. Sort of like Nightmare from Fusion. I don't know, or the Sentry Robot, I guess, from Fusion. Oh. Hey there, Crumble Block. So yeah, I am just not quite sure what the Shack Tool is supposed to be in that line of thought. Alright, so they're, they're really the only other thing back here is the spacer beam, which I will show off for those of you who don't want to go through the suffering and agony of getting plasma beam. Give me that power bomb, because you never know when you might need it. Especially when you have fewer power bombs. Get out of there. And again, you can kind of see where rooms are blocked off. So, when you're playing through this, you're kind of like wondering what... Like, there should be a door over there to the left, but... You're just kind of thinking, well, what, what's going on? What's with these other rooms? And then later, you'll... Find out, then it'll dawn upon you. They're like, oh, that's why you did that. There we go. Maybe. There we go. Okay, yes. Slow bear. Back here is where Spacer Beam is, which ironically was where Plasma was in the original. I guess it's not called reverse for anything. Yeah, that's. Interesting. So you've got the space pirates back through here, the plasma pirates and all that. And right back here is your space ring. So if you don't want to get plasma to go through that mess, your spacer, or if you just want it for the item completion percentage, it's back here, so and that seaweed's a bit chopped off. Okay, and actually, I think this will just about do it for this video. So, once again, I thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully we'll catch you next time where we get out of Meridia and get into one of the most interesting things in a hack ever. So we'll see you then.